hey guys welcome back to our channel today we're cooking curry goat i love i love i love curry goat make sure you like subscribe comment and share these videos let's go So we're kicking off with the pot just being on a medium to high heat to get the pot itself hot and we're adding two cups of vegetable oil um, because you don't want to add too much because the goat is an oily meat so you just want to add a little bit of oil to kind of kick off the process and then you add your meat. I season my meat and tend to put them in the freezer so that I can have them marinate. So this was seasoned a few days before I cooked it. And it's still icy as you can see but I will allow the ice to stay in the pot because then I will have a little bit of water additional to what the meat itself will as Jamaica say spring um, so it will give me some water to kind of start the cooking of the meat I won't add any water myself just yet because I want the curry to be a little bit burnt um, and the meat to start cooking in its own juices so after about so i want to say 10 minutes i went ahead and i added some more additional water to the pot and i keep stirring that's the most important part keep stirring make sure that your meat isn't sticking to the bottom of the pot and you have everything cooking evenly so i added some water i will add some more um in a little bit Add a little bit more water just to get that meat cooking process going with the goat meat depending on what type you buy so they have frozen goat and goat leg if you buy the goat leg it tends to cook a little bit quicker because it's not as bony but this meat took a little bit longer so it took me about 30 to 45 minutes before I could feel some kind of tenderness and then I allowed it to cook to the one hour mark um, before I even added anything else to the pot. So at that point it was tender enough to add my additional seasonings plus my potatoes. So I added three potato I love potatoes. So I added three potatoes cubed, um, an onion, thyme, two pegs of garlic and escalion oh and i also added a pepper but i didn't cut the pepper i added the whole pepper to give me that scotch bonnet flavor that i like and and you can cut the garlics really small only because i know some people don't like the garlic taste and we don't like getting the garlic in our mouth so you cut it as thin as possible and then it will just disintegrate right so you won't get pieces of garlic while you're eating or big chunks of garlic while you're eating and then I just keep cooking so I have all my ground my natural seasoning and then I added more water so that it will allow my potatoes to cook and also my seasoning to start giving off their own flavors that will give me a nice taste at the end I also added because I added so many so many um water so many times I added a little bit more seasoning so all purpose and salt that's all I add to my pot sometimes I will kick it up with a little bit of black pepper this time not really because it was marinating for so long so the flavor was already perfect I just wanted to add a little bit more so that the gravy would be a nice flavor as well with the thyme most of the time I will add everything the sticks the leaves everything this time I added everything, however, I don't need all of it in the pot for the entire cooking process. After a while, the leaves fall off, so I'll take the excess amount of sticks out of it, right? And leave the meat, the leaves to just continue to cook. Um, here we're adding the, another pepper, but this time I'm cutting it to give me a kick because we tend to like spice in my house, well, everybody except my middle girl. We all like spice, right? But, um, yeah, so we get the pepper in and we just keep cooking. 
I suggest that you cook on a medium heat only because if you're like me, you're multitasking, which means you're not paying attention all the time to the pot. So keep it on a medium, get the pot to boil, and then allow the potatoes to cook. Here you can see that they're cooked. You're not really seeing the seasoning anymore because they're all disintegrated and everything is basically just one and the flavor is just one, right? So everything come, everything is coming together perfectly. The gravy is a perfect um, consistency. Tend the meat, tend the potatoes, and we're good to eat. I promise next time I'm gonna do a plating. I promise, okay? Just keep up with me. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Share my little nuggets of information as you guys go along because a lot of the nuggets that i have it's from older people especially my grandma who will give me little insights of what to do when you need to get a particular result so i suggest that you share with your friends and your family all right see you guys next week have a good one